Hi there, and welcome to our part 4 series on the organic chemistry exam revision questions. So, question 4 here. So, we are going to deal with question part 4 here. All right. In our previous classes, we've looked at part 1, part 2, and part 3. So, here's part 4. So, if you missed out on those classes, do well to check um, for the videos on part 1, 2, and 3 in this YouTube channel. All right. Just check the playlist on organic chemistry. All right, so proceeding further, um, question 4A here, of course, they said you should tick correct. That's this um, for the correct answer, okay? 4AI says, which statement about members of a homologous series in organic chemistry is, is true? All right, so for this question here, um, what's the answer for this? All right, the options are, they are always hydrocarbons, all right? Um, the answer is not true. This is not true because... Um, you can have homologous series which are not always hydrocarbons. For example, the amines, the amines involve nitrogen. So when we say they are always hydrocarbons, it means just carbon and hydrogen only, which is not true. Sometimes we can have nitrogen, as in the amines, and also oxygen in terms of, in terms of the alcohols, all right? This one here says they defined by the CH2 units, and that should be your answer, all right? Remember that we define a homologous series as a family of organic compound in which Subsequent member differ from the previous by the CH2 group, right? So you can check up that definition. So that's your answer. AII, and don't forget that if you can't see this properly, if you can't see these questions clearly, all right, go to your video setting and increase your video quality. So go to settings, go to video qualities and increase the video quality so that you can see this um, clearer. A for AII says, what type of diene is hepta 26 diene? All right. Hepta 26 diene is an isolated diene. All right. I've discussed the concept of diene on my website. All right. So you can check my website and look for the class on dienes. Right. We discussed the types of dienes, the cumulated, the conjugated, and the isolated. So you learn why this is isolated. But for this question, hepta 26 diene is actually an isolated diene. That's your answer. For AIII, the hybrid orbitals of 18. Now, by the way, I'll tell you how to get the video on dienes later, all right, at the end of this video. So just stick with us. For AIII says the hybrid orbitals of 18 are described by which set of characteristics? Now, for 18, let's see if you can draw the structure. 18, X is 2, all right, so I have this, so it's 2 CH2, CH2. All right. So what's the characteristic here? First things first, we say for an alkene here, all right, for an alkene, the hybridization is sp squared, okay? The bond angle for an alkene, as we know it, is 120 degrees. Now, if you look at 120 degrees, if you look at this structure, this structure occurs in a straight line like this. So we can say it is linear. So you have this as being linear. So in essence, my answer is sp squared, 120 degrees, and linear. That should be option C, sp squared, linear, and 120 degrees. Question 4 says, these following species are nucleophiles, except, all right? Now, it's easy to note, nucleophiles are usually, nucleophiles usually come with a negative sign, all right? So whenever you have any, um, atom that has a negative sign is called, it's actually a nucleophile. Another way to identify them is that they will have dots attached to them, in, as in this case here. So anyone that has a dot attached to it and a negative is actually a nucleophile. So in essence, this one has two dots, so it's a nucleophile. This is ammonia with two dots, it's um, a nucleophile. This is hydrogen with a minus, which is a nucleophile. You have hydrogen with a plus, that is the exception. So this becomes your answer. Again, we've treated all of these concepts, all right? So check it in the in the, in the the organic chemistry playlist in Excellence Academy YouTube channel, all right? Number four, number five says, the first organic compound synthesized from inorganic molecules is, the answer is urea. That's it. All right, B part says, draw the structure of an alkene that has six carbons or secondary. Very interesting question. So, B, I, six carbon or secondary. Now, 
here's what to note for a carbon atom to be secondary it must be attached to two other carbon atoms in essence how do i draw six carbon atoms such that they are attached to each carbon atom is attached to two other carbon atoms how do i do that now here's what you do right this is what it look like right so you have um one two three four five six observe that each of this is attached to each other so look at this compound clearly um okay do this this carbon here the one here has one two i'll attach two hydrogen so three four this is one two three four one two three four one two h2 that's three four one two h2 three four one two h2 three four so i have this now notice that it said it's an alkane so that means to be single bond so observe that each carbon here is attached to two other carbon atoms if i should number this as one two three four five and six carbon one is attached to carbon two and then carbon six carbon six is attached to carbon one and carbon five so this is how this is done all right so this becomes the answer to that question right so you can see that each of the carbon here are all secondary all secondary because they are attached to just two carbon atoms only all right of course they are, they, they are all alkenes because you have single bond for each of them all right so i have this one here let's look at bii bii what do we have here for bii they said draw the structure of an alkene that has eight carbon so eight carbon here and only primary hydrogens now how do you know primary hydrogen concept is simple the hydrogen should be at the extreme carbon so how do you draw this eight carbon atoms um so here's what i'll do first i'll do this carbon here okay um if i attach this to a carbon here and i put three hydrogen these hydrogens here are all hydrogen, are all primary hydrogen why they are attached to carbon at the extreme that means at this point here i will no longer put another hydrogen all right next up i'll go up here and add ch3 so observe that this one here is another extreme so here this is another extreme carbon this carbon has no other carbon following it again so this hydrogen becomes a primary hydrogen i'll still come down here and put ch3 here what do you observe this hydrogen here are all primary why they are attached to a carbon at the extreme so far so good i already have one two three four four carbon atoms i'll just proceed with this so this here i'll attach another carbon here now observe that this carbon here does not have any hydrogen so there's no hydrogen here so so far these three hydrogen we have here are all primary hydrogens so i'll just come here here to this one i'll do the same thing here ch3 all right so i now have another carbon here such that all the hydrogen attached to this carbon are at the extreme so they are so they are all primary carbons again come here do this ch3 and then ch3 so what do you observe observe that these two carbon are actually called quaternary carbons but then they don't have any hydrogen if i count the total number of carbon atoms i have one two three four five six seven eight which is what we were told eight carbon and they say they, they, they say they said it's an alkane so for an alkane i have just single bonds as you can see here and they said all the hydrogen must be primary so you can see that all of these hydrogen are all primary why are they primary because they are attached to carbons at the extreme this is an extreme carbon right be by extreme carbon we mean after this carbon there's no other carbon attached to this so it's called an extreme carbon all right we've talked about this under carbonium ion i've explained this whole concept under carbonium ion on my website so you can get the full course on organic chemistry from my website and you see how or you get a complete explanation of the concept of primary secondary tertiary and quaternary um, carbon atoms all right or again too i'll also leave a link to the organic chemistry playlist in the video description so you can get it from there and learn more so this answers that question any other question there okay question 
C here, 4 C says, give an equation for the reaction of benzene with fuming H2SO4, all right, sulfuric acid. All right, so final equation C here, a benzene. Uh, so I'll just draw the benzene structure, all right, benzene structure. Okay. So I have benzene structure, this. Okay, I have this here. Benzene plus H2SO4. So I had fuming. Okay. So if I combine benzene with um, sulfuric acid or hydrogen tetrazosulfate 6, what would be the product? Now, here's what your product would be. All right. So here's what the product would be. Something that looks like... Uh, let me zoom out a bit. Okay. All right. So this is what we get. We'll have something of this nature. Of this nature um this 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 um this this okay now have this so this is your benzene then at this part here what you now have here is so3 and then h all right so this becomes the product of the addition of benzene, right? This is benzene and H2SO4. You have this as your product. All right, so this becomes the, so this answers the part four of seven part series on organic chemistry exam question solution, all right? So before I go, leave your answer in the comment section. What kind of a diene is, let's say, octa, octa, two octa two three diene all right what kind of a diene is this leave your answer in the comment section all right so do you think it's an it's an isolated a conjugated or a cumulated double bond all right so leave your answer in the comment section all right all right so if you enjoyed this video please simply like this video all right so hit the like button okay leave a comment tell us if you enjoyed this video also give the answer of this question right octa 24 diene or octa 23 diene is what kind of a diene leave your answer in the comment section also if it's your first time here subscribe to this channel right and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload a new video and also don't forget to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn all right you can also check out my organic chemistry full course on my website where i've explained the different where i've explained the different homologous series from alkene alkene alkynes alcohol to amines amides esters etc all right also involving their nomenclature their preparation their reactions and etc all right i'll leave a video on how to get that from my website you can also join my organic chemistry membership all right i'll leave all these links in the description so check the video description to get links for any of this. Thank you and see you in our next class.